Hey guys, Jesse here from Urban Legends Antiques. We're headed into our booth. We are. Here is the front entrance to our shop. And as you can see, proudly displayed our Chalky Chicks furniture paint sold here. This dresser was painted in a combination of Ginger's Blush and Sweet 16 and it came out to a pretty bubblegum pink color. Now we are just heading back towards my booth to see what the damage is since we sold that large white hutch last week. Okay, wow. To be honest, my booth looks bare and cluttered at the same time. So we're going to have to do some reset, restaging, rework our displays, and then try to move some of the items around. And because I want it to look fresh and new for spring, we may have to edit out some of our pieces. Chuck's moving our dresser in on one of our handy dandy moving dollies. We get our moving dollies from Harbor Freight. Uh, they're anywhere between um, like $9 to $20 depending on the sale. I'm removing all of our shawls and ponchos since we're heading into warmer weather. I'm also going to remove everything off of this drop leaf table so we can move it towards the back of the booth. Here are all the items that were on our hutch that we now need to try to kind of spread out across the booth. I'm known for painted furniture, but I also like to have some wood pieces added in just for a little interest and contrast between the, the wood and the painted furniture. But again, if this one doesn't sell unpainted, I'm gonna paint it. I wanna put these two purple nightstands on the back wall and either stack them so it's like a pyramid design or have them both lined up um, horizontally across the wall just to give like a different look since I had that hutch there for so long. I'm also going to hang these doors back up on the wall for some interest. Comment below with any questions you have regarding making displays. I'm working on my pyramid. I have one purple nightstand at the top and then I have a little red woven uh, stool next to it and then I have the other nightstand down at the bottom to give a nice pyramid design. I have my nightstands set up the way that I like them and I'm gonna fill them in now with all of the white pieces from my hutch. I think it'll be a cool contrast and a different look to have the purple and the white contrasting off of each other. I'm adding in some more white pieces. These figurines were from a Bridgerton video I had done last year, and I've just kept them in my booth because I think they're fun. I'm gonna try to figure out where to put this lamp because I love the pretty glow of a lamp mixed in with all of my items in a display. I'm making room on this wall for a dresser. The two longer walls of this booth sell a lot of dressers for us. I moved that little nightstand over to this wall just so that we have more room for our dresser on the other wall. And here we have a nice clean fresh spot for our pretty pink dresser to go into. Comment below if you have any uh, moving equipment that we don't have. Um, we're always on the lookout for easier equipment to use to help us move. Right now we use the moving dollies and I really like them, um, but they, I don't know, they just kind of scare me. I'm always afraid I'm gonna trip on one. I will say we have gotten some major work out of those little dollies and they're Chuck's favorite. We got the dresser under our new spot and she pops against the wood and the white hutch. We actually need one more display piece, which I don't have. So I'm pulling out a basket to put on top of that little luggage rack. That's one of the tricks I do when I don't have enough pieces to display on is I'll make a quick little table out of a basket and a luggage rack to display on. I'm gonna fill up this basket with some of my milk glass glasses and goblets. And then I'm gonna add in some teacups and stuff like that as well. Just for a little interesting look, just a softer, more feminine vibe to go next to the pink dresser. It looks like one of my price tags rubbed off onto my elbow. So I'm sure I'll be getting a phone call for whatever that piece was. Cause guaranteed if something doesn't have a price on it, that's the thing that sells. 
My booth is coming together nicely though. I like the combination of the bubblegum pink and the sage green and the robin's egg blue and the pretty bright white colors. So this is turning into a pretty display. Now that I have all the large items set in place where I want them to go, it's time to start filling in my booth with all of the smaller items. I was frantically trying to put things away. Um, this was just the first couple of minutes when the shop was opening and customers were already trying to come in and shop. So I wanted to make sure that I had my booth looking beautiful for my customers. And I was a little stressed out, but I think all in all, considering the pressure that I was under to try to get it all done, it's coming together really nicely. As you can see, we've got two shelves of this cart done. We have one shelf of merchandise left to go. I'm almost done merchandising and then I just need to do the finishing touches on my booth to make it look pretty for the weekend. My concentration face is something fierce. So here's a smile for Chuck. He's been helping me the whole time. <laughs> One last little bit of display. I'm going to put this riser inside of this basket and then add this little tea set on top um, just to fill that hole for now until I can bring something else in to put there. I'm adding in some little hearts and bees and terracotta pots to plant sweet little plants in just to kind of welcome springtime and Easter into our booth. At the time of this video, it was the week before uh, Valentine's Day when we filmed it. So we still have a little bit of Valentine's Day stuff. A lot of it has sold down. So we're just using the last little bit for a display. And then I'll come back in and remove all of that and leave all of the springtime and Easter stuff just to let people know we're welcoming the new season into our shop. Okay, here's our booth done. I literally had the 30 minutes right after opening to get in and get all of this done. And I think I did pretty good considering um, I do want to get in and do some more work on it next week. But for now, this is going to have to do because the weekend's here and we got to get out of the way. So that way our shoppers can come in and visit. Here's the other side of our booth. I had worked on this one the week before because we had a large piece sell from there. So all I did was just add in a couple more pieces, worked on my chalky chicks display a little bit and just kind of like let it be. Stay tuned for the next creative collab hosted by me, Indiana Jones and Robin's Buys and DIYs. We're gonna take on the mushroom trend. I'm Jesse from Urban Legends Antiques and thanks for coming along for the ride. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any videos. In case you didn't know, I'm a Chalky Chicks retailer and we just got a huge restock in our booth at 4th Street Antiques in Temecula, California. So stop by and check it out.